Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning, and we got an early start today because we got a boarding pass for Rise of Resistance. I am totally excited about that. You guys know I'm a Star Wars nut, so I'm excited that we woke up early enough to guarantee yes. our boarding group. And by the way, I didn't know this. We did this from the comfort of our bed, so yes. you can cool. do this. I thought you had to be in the park, but you don't have to anymore. So. Right. So we are on our way. Hollywood Studios opens in about 20 minutes, so we're going to be arriving right when it opens. And we've got our, we've got, what is it? It's the Galaxy's Edge Ogus Cantina playlist going. Yeah. We're, we're, it's going to be all Star Wars all morning. I'm excited. I know Caleb is. We have him with, with his little Stormtrooper mask he's going to wear. It's going to be cute. It's going to be great. <laughs> As you can see, the crowds don't look too bad today. I mean, at least going in with these cars, 15 minutes is when the park opens. I think honestly, the park Daddy. reservations are gonna help curb down kind of the long lines that we're used to seeing Daddy. though, checking in. Daddy. So that's probably Daddy. gonna help us. Filming you. As you can see, it is another beautiful day here in Disney World. More specifically, Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're gonna have a great day. Steve and I are sporting our Star Wars masks. Absolutely. Look up. Can we see your mask? And Caleb's got his little stormtrooper mask going on. <laughs> Thank you. And we are in. I am so excited. So they took our temperature at the front, then we went through security, we scanned our magic band, and now we've just got about 15 minutes until Rise of the Resistance. That's right, so the park opens up in five minutes, so technically they let you in early. So if yep. you want to get here early just to get it through the chaos and be able to have your fun time, do that for sure. Lights. And there's the park icon, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now, unfortunately, there isn't anything Caleb can ride in Galaxy's Edge, so no. we will be hitting that up for sure later. Which I will have to tell you that of all the rides that we've been on with Caleb this week, he has asked to go back on the Mickey train yes. multiple times. <laughs> so make sure you get this uh, for your kids because apparently it's a home run for them. Yeah, and I like it too because um, sometimes it can be a little bit of a wait, but it's a good it's a good long ride. It is, yeah. It's not one of those where it's going to be over in a blink of an eye. And it's very engaging from start to finish. Yeah. So yeah. Well, this is a rare sight for us, indeed. An empty walkway near the ABC commissary. Yeah. It's usually crazy over here. It's so relaxing. I think they actually serve breakfast here, so I'm not sure why there isn't a group out here yet. Well, it says 10 a.m. Oh, really? I thought they did breakfast. It says 10 a.m., but I don't see any breakfast items. Pork carnitas, tacos, chicken club sandwich. All right, here we go through the portal that are transport us to Galaxy's Edge. More specifically, the planet of Batu. All right, here it is, Rise of the Resistance, and we're just one boarding group away from being called. And as we wait for our boarding group to be called, I wanted to mention that we are going to be doing a stroller swap for this situation. Yeah, so what happens is you both go up to the check-in and they give you some sort of card or indication that you were here and you'll be able to swap out once he gets back. Right. Now, he will go through the traditional line with the rest of the riders, but for the stroller swap, which I'll be hanging back, I actually go through what they have designated as a fast pass lane. So I'll actually be able to get on a little bit faster than he does. All right, it's time. I am in. I'm walking into the ride right now. Uh, Steve is hanging back with Caleb. And as soon as I'm done, we're going to switch out. Probably one of the best queues in Walt Disney World. All right, and this is for you, Caleb, little buddy. Here is the fire alarm of Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Oh my god. <laughs> this queue builds so much suspense, so much anticipation. I love it. So on this transport, I've got my own little pod because I've got plastic shields on either side of the Interesting. I can still see everything just fine though, so that's good. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Give me in. What do you got? <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got a company. First order TIE fighters. We rock. We rock. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Very intimidating. Yikes. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. Those 
droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Wait, those are the prisoners! I can't stress enough how much I love that ride. It is so amazing. It's so incredible. And just to think about all the imagination and all the hard work that went into that to bring that together, it's just, it's incredible. All right, there they are. Ready to go? About time, I'm ready, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, like Mike said, there's not much to do with a kid here in Galaxy's Edge, so we did the rotation. We saw Chewbacca, we saw some Stormtroopers, we saw the Millennium Falcon. We saw everything you possibly can in 20 minutes. It was a lot of fun. But now it's time for me to have some fun and for you to entertain little men. Yep. Maybe you could take them on Mickey's Runaway Railway while I'm on this. Oh, I want to do that as a family. Okay, well, we'll do that together then. <laughs> Actually, um, I kind of want some breakfast, so... Okay, I'll look into the mobile order for Ronto Wraps. There we go. All right, I'm going to get going, all right? It's good. So Caleb and I just kind of walked around for a little bit, all of Galaxy's Edge, but Steve's probably got a good 10 minutes left on the ride. So we found this nice little secluded area. There's like literally nobody around here. So I figured this would be a good time to just let little man run around. Also, I was able to mobile order us some breakfast. So as soon as Steve gets back, we're gonna go have some Ronto wraps. I'm so excited. Oh, you're running around? Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad we found this little spot. He, although he is very disappointed that we couldn't find any fire alarms. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to admit this, but like every single time I go on that ride, I get so choked up. It's such an awesome ride. Like if you are a little bit of a fan, you will still enjoy this. It's just, it's that phenomenal. It's really great. Here we are at Ronto Roasters. All right, so Mike got us two different kind of Ronto wraps. This is the breakfast one. And it looks like it's wrapped in egg. What else is in there? Some cheese and the traditional sausage. And then we got the everyday Ronto wrap offering, and this is more of the lunch offering. So I think we have tried both of these in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really in love with this pita bread that they served us on. It is so soft and filling. And everything on the inside is really good. It's a classic you know, breakfast offering. That sausage gives it a little bit of spice, which is nice. I'm actually really looking forward to lunch wrap, even though we're here for breakfast at it's 10 o'clock, kind of works, kind of a brunch offering here, so we're gonna take one more bite of this. Oh, good. Who would have thought that, that would be a good breakfast often? It's really good. This is sausage, and then this is egg, and then it's wrapped in pita bread, so it's nice and soft. Pretty good, huh? Okay. Let's give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Caleb's seal of approval. Hmm. Have a great day, yes. Have a great day. <laughs> I've already had a few bites, but this is so delicious. I love this thing. Really good flavor. I think the, that sausage has just a little bit of heat to it. Love it. And even though we are loving this Ronto morning wrap, I think we need to move on to the traditional Ronto wrap and see how that holds up. Because we've had this before. Yeah. It's one of our favorites. Let's see if it's... Yeah. Still up to snuff. You know what's kind of awkward about this is you have to bite that little tiny piece of sausage off first before you can actually enjoy it. Right. So excuse that part. All right, so as you can see, it's really kind of loaded full. We got some slaw and some sauce, and it looks like some shaved tur uh, turkey in there as well. So let's see. There is a reason why this is so popular. The flavors. You wouldn't think about it when you read the menu item that you would like it. They all go very well together. I love like a little bit of spice from the coleslaw and that sauce that's in there as well. And who knew that turkey and sausage went so well together, but this thing's a home run. Very, very, very good. 
Another very. That's a very, 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 very good <laughs> round to wrap. I love it. Steve has already described it. He described it perfectly. All I can say is this is one of my favorite things to get here. It's so good. Don't miss it. So last year around this time, right when we all went into lockdown, uh, Mike and I actually cooked this out of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook. And it's a riff on it. So if you do uh, make it from that cookbook, instead of sausage, I think they have a chorizo meat. I think so, yeah. yeah. So it's not quite the same. You get some of the flavors. I definitely sub out that chorizo for the sausage and you'll be very, very happy. All right, so we just grabbed our Ronto wrap and now we're just kind of hanging out here in Galaxy's Edge and I think we're gonna start making our way over to Mickey and Minnie's yeah. Runaway Railway for Little Man. Got a trip to Galaxy's Edge, specifically Batuu is not complete unless you check out the Millennium Falcon and how impressive this thing is. It is definitely one of the major landmarks here and it's so beautiful how they did this. So we're not gonna be able to ride it today, but uh, it's it's kid time. Let, let's, let's start doing right. something for him, all right? Definitely. We've had so much fun here in Galaxy's Edge and unfortunately we just don't have the time to do everything today, you know, but in the past we've gotten like the blue milk, the green milk, yeah. we've done the lightsaber build, the droids. So I'm going to go ahead and link those videos down below so if you wanted to check them out and see what that's all about. And I also totally forgot, we're not going to the Runaway Railway right now. First yeah. we're going to hit up Alien Swirling Saucers. Definitely. Hi. I know. Oh, another fire alarm. There it is, folks. Another fire alarm. <laughs> we did, I think Dad did. did I just did. I can't And we've made it back to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This ride's so cute. Pretty cool, Pretty cool huh? Butterfly. Oh, yeah. You ready for this, bud? Yeah, I want to see the survived yet another runaway railway. Did you have fun, bud? Yeah. Yes. Oh. All right, and I think that's gonna do it for us this morning here at Hollywood Studios because right now we've got in just under an hour, we have dining reservations down at Disney Springs. We're gonna go have lunch at the Boathouse. That's right, and if we remember what we said the other day about Disney Springs, you had to plan a little bit extra time to, be yeah. able to get through the security and the health screening as well. So right. we're on our way there right now. Yeah, and I just posted the question on Instagram, what you guys recommend from the boathouse, because the menu looks pretty intimidating. Yeah. Um, so the answers are coming in, so we're gonna make our decision and we'll figure out what we're gonna get. Thank you for your recommendations. So no matter where we go in downtown <laughs> Disney, I only know where like four places I are. Know. This is a place that I don't know where we're going, so I need to go find it. I think it might be that way. I think it's that way. Let's try it out, I don't okay. know. we'll find out. Okay, yeah, we will see. I hate to say it, but every time I get off that escalator, I just assume Steve knows where he's going. Well, we also so parked just... in a separate garage than we typically do. So we parked in the lime garage versus the orange garage. Right. So I'm completely thrown off. Yeah. I don't know where we are. I just show up and I'm like, okay, where are we going, Steve? Yeah, I think it's it's in it's in this area over here. <laughs> right, we found it. <laughs> I chose wisely. Yes, you wisely. did. Wisely. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the boathouse. This looks delicious. And like we said, we uh, we asked you guys on Instagram what we should get. So far, it looks like the winning bet is the filet, I think it's filet mignon sliders. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Okay. All right, so I just realized we forgot to film a proper intro to this video. <laughs> so we're just gonna do it right here at the table. Perfect. We are having lunch today at Disney Springs. We are at the boathouse. This is a really cool restaurant. We've actually dined here a couple times, but we've never vlogged it, so we're really excited to do this for you guys. Um, shortly before we got here, we put a post on Instagram asking what you guys recommend, and it looks like the filet sliders are winning by a long shot. So we'll see. 
but I also want to get a really cute cocktail. I'm late to this party, but it looks so cute, and I have to be honest, I'm totally doing it for the Instagram photo, <laughs> but I am going to be starting off, I am going to be starting off with the Duck Duck Raz. Looks really, really cute, but... Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. All right, cool. And what's awesome about this restaurant, it affords us the opportunity to also dine outside. So it is a little bit warm, but every now and again we get a little bit of, bit of a breeze coming off the water. But again, for social distancing, we feel like outdoor dining is the way to go if you can. So it's beautiful outside. Again, I wish there was a little bit of a few clouds out here, but we're, do, we're making do, so we'll be fine. Now to make a decision on my car, right. Do you want to see this ducky when I'm done with it? Okay. And here is the duck raz. Oh, what was it called again? Duck duck raz. Okay. And here it is, the duck duck raz. This is so cute. But I gotta do this review quick because I think Caleb wants this rubber ducky. Mmm. That's really good. It definitely tastes like your typical like blue drink. I think there's some blue curacao in here. Where is the mix? This is Stoli Raz Peach Schnapps Blue Curacao Lemon Juice and Simple Syrup. It tastes really, really good. Kind of like that Blue Jolly Rancher flavor. Really, really good. A fun drink. I highly recommend it. In case you don't know, Mike really did like Jolly Ranchers growing up. Everything has a Jolly Rancher profile. I know. <laughs> All right, and for my drink, I went with the Coconut Mojito. This has Rum Haven, Coconut Rum, Simple Syrup, Mint, and Soda. All right, here we go. Well, oh, that's really good. Yeah, it actually, that coconut really kind of overpowers the mint. Like, typically, mojito for me is very minty. It's supposed to be minty, but I like that the coconut balances out and gives it a nice sweet edge to it. Especially because we're outside and we're enjoying this dock life right now, mojito's a good pairing for that. Can you show everybody the rubber ducky? Can you make it? Oh, you're squeezing your rubber ducky. We did rinse this off in the water, folks, so there's no alcohol in there. <laughs> there's no water in there, yeah. Yeah, right. but maybe if you take it, we take a bath later, you can put that in your bathtub. You want to take a bath with that? That'd be fun. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a little bit of water coming out. That, that might be cocktail, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, because I rinsed it and squeezed it in the water. All right, well, here's all good. So the server brought us some bread, and it looks like whipped butter. It looks very, very soft. I love when the dinner rolls have that nice, shiny glaze on top. It looks really good. Oh, yeah. Super soft. Just a little bit of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little too much on. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. So this is a very, very good bread service. And that butter, like I said, it is whipped, and I think it has a little bit of honey in it. It's got a little sweetness, it's delicious. So Kayla's meal just came out, and it's in this awesome car, which these are these the boat cars that you have all along the lake here. And we have, for him, some popcorn shrimp, some french fries. Looks like they have some cocktail sauce and some regular ketchup as well. Kayla, does that look good? Yes, cocktail. Ooh, does it sound, looks yummy, huh? All right, you like the french fries? Can they get a thumbs up? That's cocktail That's sauce. cocktail sauce. Ah, there's a thumbs up on that. Sear tuna. Okay, try it. That's a different sauce. <laughs> this is ketchup. You like ketchup over here. Get some water. <laughs> All right, so Caleb was not prepared for the cocktail sauce. <laughs> All right, I really like the packaging for his meal. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Yeah. And he's figured out how to make the little ducky squeak. Oh, it as well. squeaks! Look at that, man. All right, I'm gonna give the bread and butter a shot here. See, Mike is the type of person that'll put the butter on the outside. I'm the type of person that yeah, yeah. the butter on the inside, like a sandwich. And just a little bit of butter, Mike. Just a little bit. It's like covered in something like sweet. Like yeah. Pizza, right? well, it, is, well, so it is a little sticky, yes. Yeah, it's very sticky. It's like honey glaze. It's really good tasty. I like it a lot. Yeah. 
So in normal fashions, we're gonna try each other's cocktails to see who won by ordering the best cocktail. I can already tell you based on the <laughs> I don't think I like neon colored drinks. So it's just it's just the way it is. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> so the best way I can describe this is it tastes like tropical sunscreen. Oh whatever, stuff. No, it's it's not bad. It's just it's not great. Um, I, I do not like it when you can't taste the spirit in the actual cocktail. That's the most expensive ingredient, and you should be able to taste that. I, knew that I, I know most people like cocktails, they don't want it to be too like, spirit forward, but to me, that's what you're paying for. You should be able to taste it. So, this one tastes like sugar, raspberry, and I'm missing that vodka flavor in this. Mike, did you pick up on the vodka? I didn't. It is very sweet. Yeah. Um, they will go down very easy, so, you know. Be careful. Maybe they'll could, sneak up on you. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is headache in a glass by tomorrow morning. With that, I'm going to pass it back over to Mike. <laughs> now you got to try mine. All right, so Mike's going to try my coconut mojito. Wow. <laughs> That's really good. And I think... It's, oh, let me hold it like this so you can see it. It's really, really good because it's light and refreshing. You can taste that coconut rum. This is the way to go. And I think honestly, the description of the cocktail is very straightforward. There's not many ingredients yeah. on it. It's very much what it what it is. It's, right. a, it's a mojito. For my lunch, I ordered the Yacht Club Club. This has roasted turkey breast, cucumber, bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, chipotle honey mayo, Swiss cheese on a multi-grain bread with a side of French fries. And I heard your suggestion loud and clear. I am getting the filet mignon sliders. This is two sliders and it's served with maitre d' butter. They look delicious. They smell really good. I do have to say I'm surprised. Like, they're kind of small. I was expecting a much larger presentation. I got a lot of French fries, which I really, really like. But I only have two sliders. And like I said, they're a little small. Maybe one more would have been more something I was expecting. But I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So maybe it's very filling. Okay, I have to admit this filet mignon slider is delicious. And as you can see, it is pretty thick. It's a nice cut of the filet in there, sandwiched between this, I'm, I think it's buttered brioche, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of good flavor. I think a lot of it is coming from that maitre d' butter. This is awesome, but it is very rich. So I'm thinking maybe that's why they only give you two of them. A little goes a long way. And as you can see from my plate, I am definitely enjoying the size of mine. <laughs> so this thing is towering. I got two big pieces of sandwich here and a big mound of french fries as well. This is gonna be way too much for me to eat, so even though Mike doesn't have that much, he's gonna have somebody to guarantee it. So the enhancements on the sandwich from a traditional club are the cucumber and the avocado. Cucumber adds some nice like freshness to it, and the avocado has a nice like little rich flavor to it. It's a very good sandwich. Very happy with this. All right, and because we are on vacation and because we're at the boathouse, right? Like casual vibes. I did go ahead and get a second cocktail. This is it. It is quite large. This is the shipwreck. It is Marty Gold and Silver Rum, Pessoa, fresh tropical juices, fresh oranges, and cherries. Oh my goodness, I just took a sip of this thing and I feel like I could probably breathe fire right now. <laughs> it is very strong. Let me check. Let me mix it. There it is. <laughs> If you're looking to get schnockered, this is the one to get. Schnockered. Because wow, this is a very different party from my little duck drink that I had a second ago. It, it's good, it's got good flavors, but hey, see, this spirit, spirit forward, forward all right. yeah. is it one of those drinks that immediately you lose all the moisture in your mouth? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> this mixed with like the saltiness of my filet sliders, it's like. <laughs> Let's see if it's gonna affect me. <laughs> Probably won't. Well. <laughs> it's a party in a glass. I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one will, uh, this will, yeah. you're gonna wobble out of here. Yeah. I can guarantee that. I, I'm already starting to see devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a banger. Yeah. Yeah, I think you'll like it. <laughs> He's doing it for dessert, folks. 
Oh, good job. So our meals were absolutely delicious. I'm totally stuffed right now. We did promise Caleb that if he ate all of his popcorn shrimp, which he did, he's gonna get some ice cream. So we ordered him a kid's sundae. So I'm excited about him trying that. Okay, now that I have finished my meal, I do have to say, one more slider would have been ideal. It was very, very delicious. I definitely could have done one more, but these fries, man, these are incredible. I love this. Look at that, man. I don't know. Were you a good boy? Hold on. Were you a good boy? Yeah. Okay, what does it look like? Look. Cookie. Does it look like Mickey? And the ears are cookies. Yeah. <laughs> the ears are and cookies. The, and the, the nose is a cherry. Oh, my. This is the kids' Sunday. This is pretty large. Yummy. You like cherries? All right. Let's take your spoon and let's start eating the Sunday. These are the moments we I still wish we carried bibs with us. Oh, yeah. But we're going to the condo right after this, so whatever mess happens, happens. What do you Yummy? think? Good? Thumbs up? <laughs> no, it's a oh. great day. Oh, okay, that's have a great day, yes. <laughs> so I don't think we've told you this, but the YouTube channel Caleb loves to watch is this teenager who reviews all various different types of fire alarms. But at the end of this kid's videos, he always does this. Have a great day. <laughs> Caleb, have a great day. Can you show us have a great day? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Big mess. That bib could come in handy. Big mess. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, we don't let him have ice cream at home. Right. Not like we don't let him. We just don't keep it in the house. And we don't want to reward good behavior with dessert all the time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, being in the parks, it's a little bit of a different change. The schedule for him, different environment. It's a completely different routine for him. So sometimes we have to incent him <laughs> with good behavior. And that comes in the form of desserts. Yeah. This is good too, though, because this gives him just enough. Because he's not going to eat as much as he'd want to. He's not going to eat all no, that. No. But it gives him just enough energy to keep him awake till we get back to the house and he can take a nap. Exactly. So I do have to say, I think this was a hit. I think this was really good. Yeah, I think the variety wins over many families. You don't Absolutely. have to make a decision at all. Everybody can find something that they like, whether it's Yummy. a Mexican rendition, there's mahi tacos, you yeah. can have your sliders, you could have your popcorn shrimp, everybody's happy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was basically, I was like, wow, we barely scratched the surface of this menu. Yeah. So all the more reason to come back. Uh, yeah, I really like this. Yeah, you can have a napkin. Well, let's clean your hands and your face off first before we clean up your cookies, okay? Okay, it's so dark. Hands, hands. <laughs> I just want to take this moment to let you all know that he had said he was done, so I cleaned him up with a cotton nail wipe and everything, and now here we are. <laughs> You're a mess, kid. Yep. <laughs> I know. You, you want to see it? Well, as soon as, I, as soon as I edit the video, we'll look at it, okay? I know. All right, last bite. Last bite. Yikes. Last bite, we gotta get going. All right, folks, we are out of here. The little man's walking very, very slow. He's very tired. All right, so that wraps up lunch for us here at the Boathouse. That's right, we're full, we're happy, we love the variety. Caleb yeah. had a great time. We have some souvenirs of that little ducky definitely. to take with us as well. So. <laughs> Highly recommend this. We think this is an awesome place that you guys should definitely try. I really do recommend it as well. It's a lot of fun. The theming is outrageous. It's overboard. I feel like this is the kind of restaurant my family and I would go the night before a Disneyland trip. So I feel like this is a great place to kick off your vacation yeah. and have a good time. Definitely. All right, I am completely out of breath because <laughs> little man left his ducky on the table. I am. I couldn't believe it. I ran back. They had not yet cleaned up our table. It looks like our server had been like doing his spiel to the table next to oh, us. So I think lucky. that distracted him. So thank God. Phew. This ducky thing would have been a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.